what's up welcome back to another moving vlog it's another week in my life in new york another moving vlog well really only a couple days because i head to london at the end of this week to go um well, i've never been to london one and two i'm seeing a taylor swift eras tour for the second time going with my friends Kenzie and Emily. I'm so excited, but that'll be a whole other vlog. But I seriously just wake up every morning here and I'm like, holy crap, I love here. Like I genuinely can't believe it. And it's just such a dream space for me to decorate, to live in, to be in. Um, and I'm so excited to show you guys more moving content, organizing, more furniture's getting delivered this week, hanging things up, stuff like that. So, um, oh, also, I got hair extensions. <laughs> this was kind of something I've been thinking about the last like month or so because I use my clip-in hair extensions so much, but I also really want my hair to grow and I'm on my hair growth journey. So um, I got these beautiful sew-in hair extensions. I have one and a half rows. They feel so nice. They feel so light, which is so crazy because I remember the, I've had hair extensions once before and I remember the first time I got them, my head hurt so bad the first day or two and like, these do not hurt at all. They were installed so nicely and, and it's supposed to help your hair actually grow and not hinder it the way he like installed it. Sounds of the city. New apartment, new hair. Let's just do it all. Let's just do it all. Um, so I am so excited to just have long hair again. I got them yesterday. Yesterday I had the craziest day. Like I didn't even vlog because it was just back to back to back stuff. My mom left yesterday and my brother is has extended his trip for a couple days. He's like out exploring right now. He had the night to himself because I actually slept over at Brooke's apartment last night in Brooklyn because we had a concert in Brooklyn last night and then um, we had another event in Brooklyn this morning so she invited me to sleep over which was so fun. I did like a little TikTok vlog so you can go watch that. But anywho, I am back now and I'm in a really calm state because I went to an Apple event where it was all about wellness. So I'm like very chill but I'm also like a little stressed because I have so much to do. I just do this to myself. I'm like, I'm gonna move and then go to London for five nights in between that. And then I'm gonna come back from London next week. I have one day and then I go on my friend's bachelorette, which I'm so excited. It's my first bachelorette trip I've ever been on. So I'm really excited and I helped plan a lot of it, which is fun. But um, I love to just stress myself out. You know, it's all really fun, good things that are stressing me out, but I'm just gonna enjoy this time alone. My brother went to the Met and he's just vibing. I don't know when he'll be back. So I'm just gonna enjoy this alone time. And I have someone coming to hang up my frame TV today. Let me just give you guys some updates. First of all, when I walked in, I was really happy to see it's nice and clean in here because I think Freddie had some friends over too last night. He's just like pretending that this is his apartment. This is literally his closet. Like, look at him, all of his stuff. It's so cute. But yeah, this is the frame TV. This one's 65 inches. I am so obsessed. We just put it on a stand for now, but the whole point of the frame TV, it's supposed to look like, you know, a frame on your wall. So I got permission to put some holes in the wall to um, feed the wire through so there's no wires no wire covers like it literally just likes a piece of art on the wall so I'm really excited that's getting hung up today between two and five so I just had to like be here dining chairs are coming tomorrow I got this table delivered last week I love it went for some darker accents so this is this beautiful black table that will also be used <laughs> as my desk um, as well as over there of course but um, I'm getting six dining chairs and they're getting delivered tomorrow, which I'm pumped about. The, this rug is Rugs USA. I have a couple more rugs from them coming. I do really like, so my last apartment had bar stools, but it was bar height. This is counter height, which I'm realizing I really like. So it's just more approachable. Like I find myself actually sitting here a lot more than my other place. Like, I don't know why. Something about getting all up high. Like if you just need to sit down and like go on your computer really quick, this is really ideal and I just, <laughs> I cannot wait to cook in here. Need to figure out where this guy's going because this cannot stay. It's my Alexa, f also like a, it's the Echo Show, but it's like the frame one as well. Um, it looks so good in here and I usually like to have mine in the kitchen because I'm like listening to music when I'm cooking and working and stuff, but that can't go there. So I need to figure out if you guys have suggestions on where I should put it. I had initially thought about hanging it up here, but I don't think I'll like the plug. I just don't, I just don't know if I'm gonna like that. This has definitely become the landing area, that's for sure. It's not gonna be this crazy always, but um, 
it's working. It's working for now. Also, thank you all for all your opinions on like laundry storage and stuff. So what I'm gonna do, well, for now I have some baskets up there with my detergent and stuff so I can like kind of reach it. I have a step stool. Oh, I see Freddie's doing some laundry. But someone commented this and my mom came up with the idea for that bathroom door storage that I had at my last apartment that I wasn't sure where I was gonna put it here. It will go right here, you guys. I mean, I'm gonna have so much storage. The laundry is right here. So I can put it behind this door because there's lots of dead space here to put those. It's like a, it's from the container store. It's like over the door storage with bins. And I had it in my bathroom and I was like, it's so good. I don't wanna get rid of it. It's gonna go here so I can put my detergent. I could put like, during the winter, I could put like my hand warmers here, like gloves, like this is gonna be optimized. I love that word. So I'm really excited about that discovery. Someone had also said, instead of this, I could have like a cute little thing right here as a landing area, but this is a really nice piece of furniture that I love and I feel like I'll take it with me from um, home to home as I, you know, go along my life. And I just don't wanna get rid of it. And I love how there's drawers. I think that's really great to hide things. I can put like bigger things down there. That's my little bucket that I used to put my umbrellas in. Um, so that's that. Also kind of thought about putting my gray Malin um, off the grid with the airplane at the beach artwork here because I definitely have the wall space to do it I don't know what the rules are on having like artwork in a bathroom. I feel like it's fine it has really good um, Ventilation in here. I feel like like the mirror never fogs up when you shower, which is very impressive to me so I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that. All of this decor here will be dispersed throughout. Like I have a storage ladder coming that I'm really excited about that I'm gonna put a printer on, which will be so nice. Um, and then obviously I have a coffee table coming, so that'll go on the coffee table. I also, I don't know, I could put things on this, but I'm trying to keep it pretty simple. I'm not so sure those are flowers Brooke got me and then my friends, like most of my besties from high school came over the other day and brought me these stunning flowers, like, so nice. I am dying to hang these up. These are mirrors that are gonna go above nightstands in my bedroom, but I can't hang them up until the nightstands come and they're coming next week, I believe. So when I get back from London, my bed will be delivered, which is honestly quite similar to like my last bed, but it's a little higher up with storage, but it's like the same color from uh, West Elm, I believe. And then I have dark wood nightstands, which I'm really excited about that have drawers. Um, it was my mom's idea though, to use these little baskets I had as nightstands and it's working quite nicely. Um, but yeah, so those nightstands will be going above either side. And then obviously there's a headboard, but I need to decide. I was initially going to lime wash the walls in here, which I'm still open to do. I think it would be possible. You know, I have to move all the furniture and they put tarp over it. Um, I wanted to do it before I moved in, but I couldn't get it together, honestly. But I do like how white and like nice it is in here. So I don't know. If, if I don't lime wash the walls, then I would definitely get artwork for above the bed. But yeah, on the nightstands, there's gonna be lamps. And then the mirrors, it's gonna look very hotel. And then I'll probably have to move this. I might really just move this in my closet because when you're like getting dressed, it's nice to just quickly look, but it'll be really close up, I guess. If I'm standing here, it's like, oh, okay. Or I feel like this is not the vibe for this beautiful door, but I could get like an over the door mirror, but actually no, this door is like extra tall. I feel like over the door mirrors would like stop like midway on this door. So not sure, but I'm still loving my little organization area. I'm like, I, I just can't believe this is my closet. This is probably gonna be a today project is unpacking my products. That's what I'd like to do. Um, Cause I have obviously all these medicine cabinets here that I could put everything in and I haven't put anything in any of the drawers or anything. Cause I really wanna like figure it out, have a plan. Um, so, I've got lots of stuff to unpack here. But also a part of me was like, should I wait until I get back from London and the bachelorette because I'm just gonna pack a ton of things up in toiletry bags anyways for my trips. I don't know. I also gotta like finalize my era's outfit, my London outfits check the weather, but I also wanna hang out with my brother and I wanna see Ryan before I leave because I've had family in and out. So that's the long-winded update. You know what? I think I know what would make me feel so good right now. I'm seriously so obsessed with the fact that I have this little wine fridge. I have, oh my God, this is this my last one? 
Okay, I have a few more. My brother has been drinking these. Um, I mean, which makes sense because they're so good. These are the Element Sparkling Electrolyte Waters. Like, oh, they really know what they're doing when they made some sparkling versions. And I love how they're already like mixed, obviously, which is so nice and I just love sparkling. I am a citrus salt girl. Clearly that's, that's why they're already gone. But I do love this black cherry lime flavor as well. Cracking open a cold one, AKA my Element. These are so good. Like if you just worked out or you were in the sauna and you sweat a ton or you're outside or you were drinking, like I did have a drink or two last night at the concert and I feel like just extra fatigued. So that's why I was like, I feel like this will really hit. So cheers. It's like a treat. Straight up you guys, I feel so blessed to work with Element. So this video is sponsored by Element which is so organic for me. Like I literally drink these all the time. So this is a great way to replenish your electrolytes. This has a thousand milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium and 60 milligrams of magnesium. It's a science backed electrolyte ratio. I love that this has sodium because when you sweat, the primary thing you lose is sodium. And when your sodium is not replaced, you can experience muscle cramps or fatigue, which I'm definitely experiencing right now. I love that there's no artificial ingredients, no gluten, no dyes, nothing like that. It just feels like it's something good that I'm putting into my body and it tastes really good and it's refreshing. And if I have anxiety, anxiety, I don't know what it is. Like I like something sparkling already. So the fact that this is sparkling and has electrolytes in it, like hits two birds with one stone for me and no sugar. Right now, Element is offering my viewers a free sample pack with any purchase, which is awesome because then you could try all the different flavors. Um, so I would suggest trying one of their sparklings. Like it's just, the sparkling light light water is so good, but they also have the amazing packets that are great for travel if you just wanna throw it in your water bottle. Um, so my favorite flavor is citrus salt. My second favorite flavor, or maybe my first, honestly, for the sparkling would be this black cherry lime. So you could get like a case of that or you get the variety pack and then you will also get your sample pack, which is so perfect. So you just gotta go to drinkelement.com slash Danielle Carolyn to get that benefit. Thanks so much again to Element for sponsoring this video. I'm just gonna drink mine now. Okay, now I need to like attack the day. I need to pull out my planner. I've got my candle lit. Need to play some like chill lo-fi beats and get my head in the game. I also, I'm gonna take off my makeup. You guys probably don't even think I have makeup on. I just put on light makeup for this event I went to this morning and it's just not wearing well right now. I just washed my face, got my setup, about to play some chill lofi beats. <laughs> got my element here too. And we're gonna get to work. Also, I do wanna, I just realized something. My vision board. Look at the kitchen, my 2024 vision board. The, f the wooden fluting. I wanted a kitchen like this so, so badly, and it's just, gosh, it's so crazy. I am reminiscent today. I'm sorry, guys. Play Summer Chill Lo Fi. Okay, Summer Lo Fi Chill by Lo Fi Beat from Spotify. Perfect. Freddie said he's heading back and he was like, have you had lunch? I was like, no. So I was like, you know what? Let's get Chipotle. Well, he wanted Chipotle, so I've got our bowls here ready. I'm excited to see him. We just went to my old apartment to grab the bench. I decided I wanted to bring it either as a place to sit and look out, or I'm gonna see how it looks in my closet. But it's nice to have a little bench. Um, you're going to the bodega right now? Yeah. Um, no, I'm okay, thank you. Guys, this is game changer. I am so glad. I did this. This is the over the door storage I was talking about that I just went and grabbed from my old apartment. Um, it's perfect. It's literally perfect. I'm gonna fill it up right now with laundry stuff, except I gotta secure it to the back of the door because it's just gonna bang and I don't want it to do that. Um, I lost the piece that secures it to the bottom of the door, so. But yeah, so I'll put like detergent and stuff on the bottom here and then just random stuff as I see fit. But this is huge. Freddie, did you see this? He's drinking a Celsius. He's going to like some tennis club with his friends. Freddie's loving life. Um, look at this. Look at my door. Oh, it's amazing. For laundry stuff. So I don't have to, because right now, you guys, 
it's all up there, which isn't terrible, but like, first, like, we're got, I do a lot of laundry. This way, like, I'll put the detergent on the bottom. Do you guys think she has enough puffy jackets? No, I definitely don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, and then I could put my, those are like my vacuum inserts or whatever. I can put some of those, like, attachable, deta whatever those things are. Yeah, I kind of just threw those lights down there. Yeah, it's okay. They've seen it all. Go dogs. Go dogs. So I am thrilled about this. I'm gonna start filling it up here in a second. Filling it up. Got all my laundry stuff down here. Steamer, lint roller, dryer balls, jewelry cleaner, tissues, heat pack. So, feeling good. Currently organizing my landing area. This is like a dream to have. Like you can put your purse here, your keys here. I brought this from my last apartment and I'm organizing it a lot better than I had before. So on this side I have perfumes, essential oils, breath spray. And then on this side I have just like random lip products. Um, and I'm gonna hang a mirror right here. Hand sanitizers. And I'm just kind of like unboxing as I go. I have some gum. Um, just like a nice little spot. Like if I'm running out the door and I need a quick I got it, you know? And I have these drawers, which is huge, so it will prevent clutter. Like I could put mail here. Oh, I'm so excited. Freddie is headed to tennis and you have to wear all white at this tennis club his friend belongs to. New York tennis so experience. We've got a little Lululemon fit. Here we go. I love it. I'm glad you like the hat. And I just finished. This looks so nice up top at least. Um, this is also nice because you can put papers under here if you want. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking a mirror. I also could put these next to each other instead of, that doesn't look good though. Or yeah, I don't know. Gonna play around with the decor of it all. I mean, those aren't permanent, but they do serve a great purpose. So um, I do wish they were like a darker color. I don't know, I don't know. And then mirror, maybe a plant. And it just works, it works. Okay, my TV is hung up. I'm waiting for my vacuum to charge a little. He tried to clean up for me. And then my vacuum died. I was like, don't worry, I got this. I will clean because there's like dust everywhere. Basically what he did was so it would definitely look like a photo rather than like a TV where there's wire covers. He put two holes here and here and put these like wall sockets in so you can feed the wire all the way up to plug it in there, which just looks so seamless. And I can't wait to turn it on and see how it looks, but I need to clean, but thought I would show you guys. I'm really happy. While he was in here, I shut the door <laughs> and I moved my mirror a little bit and I've been trying on outfits for London and Eras tour, everything like that. I think I figured out my outfits. For Eras, I wanted to just be super comfortable because we did general admission. So we're gonna be on the floor and like no seats. So I wanna be comfortable. So I did like a chill, but like fun outfit, which I'm really excited about. And just like European fashion in general. And um, I just adore and I've been on Pinterest a lot. So I've been like planning all of my outfits and I'm feeling really good because we're there for five nights. So I'm like, okay, I gotta get this together here. Hello friends, welcome to my bathroom. Oh, I just love the vibes in here. So I just changed. It's nine o'clock on a Tuesday night. Ryan is dying to show me and Freddie one of his new favorite restaurants called Au Cheval. But the problem with Au Cheval, it's like a really popular restaurant. Ryan was only able to get a reservation for 9.45 and he was like, they're like the best burgers I've ever had. Like we have to go. So, um, we're gonna go. Um, and I just put on like this little black tee, some jeans, a little belt to dress it up. I don't know. I'm just touching up my hair. Yeah. So that's what's happening here. I got a lot of stuff done in the sense of London so that tomorrow I can do some more home stuff. Um, but I figured since Freddie will be here tomorrow, I also, oh my God, I also have a really exciting event tomorrow with Kindle. Like I forgot that's, let's just keep forgetting that's tomorrow. I'm so excited. I'm hosting a fun event for people that have Kindles at Bibliotech in Soho and it's going to be so cute and fun. And I had like friends text me like I signed up cause I want to come. Oh my God, you already changed. I showered there already. You showered Oh, there? what's good, what's good. Wait, did you? Come in this? Like you showered at the, at the tennis club, oh, yeah. Oh, fun. It was awesome. Freddie, you know where my shirt's from? Uh, Costco? <laughs> James Purse. No, it's not. Yeah, it's my one James Purse item. Well, that's not what I'm wearing right now. No. Which I can put on. 
No, 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 I love your outfit. Look at Freddie's little outfit. Mm -hmm. Oh, each of them has baggy jeans and everything. Baggy jeans. I love it. Six from the tennis courts. It was pretty cool. I love it. All right, here's tonight's look. Nothing crazy, and I'm wearing sneakers because Freddie was like, we might want to walk back. And I was like, you're not wrong. So we might want to start the walk. I don't know. It's definitely like casual and the white sneakers are kind of throwing me off now, but you know what? That's okay. And Freddie and I are kind of matching. Let's go. <laughs> All right. I love it. I got. Oh. I'm excited about those mashed potatoes. The vibes in here are so nice. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. I wish he told me to turn the camera on. I didn't know it was going to be. He chopped it. He chocolate. Yeah, right. You should have told me for the vlog. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to be live. You just got to be in the moment, you know? I got hit with a lot of... Uh, that smells good. It kind of smells like s'more. You guys, the chairs are about to be here. I have six dining chairs coming. They're like a brown and white situation. I'm really excited. So we're going to do two on either side, like one on either side, and then two and two. Freddie's perching. Perch. He loves to look outside. <laughs> Get his morning sun, the sunlight in the morning, and here is unreal. The chairs are here, and they are stunning. They are from Rove Concepts, and wow, I love them. Freddie was like, damn, like, I didn't know we were going to have good chairs like this. I was like, yes, I'm so happy. This dark brown wood with this, like, lighter color. I'm almost wondering if I should have my couch cleaners come when they come. Also, like, treat this fabric. I'm starting to think that... Maybe I should, just because there'll be food around this and it's definitely like lighter. Um, but I love how this looks with the credenza. This looks so nice. Wow, so good. Lots of lots of seating over here. <laughs> kind of feeling like maybe later, when Ryan comes here later, we move the table even more this way so they're not too close to the bar stools. All right, done waiting for the chairs. Freddie went up to the roof because he was just, he just loves it. He loves to look out to the city. <laughs> and we're gonna go get um, late, late, late breakfast or lunch, whatever you wanna call it. I just like can't start my day if it's not breakfast. I don't know how to explain it, even though it's noon. Um, and run a couple errands and then come back. And then I have to start getting ready because I have an event for Kindle tonight. But I'd really, if I have time, I really wanna be able to go to Sephora and get a couple minis like mini stuff, specifically a mini cleansing oil because I'm on my cleansing oil grind, but if not, it's fine. <laughs> CVS haul <laughs> got more Swiffer wet cloths because I was out. I got magic erasers. This stuff is amazing. Um, just to get ahead of things, if I get a scuff on the wall, you just wet these and it literally takes anything off. Like this is an amazing thing my mom showed me. I got makeup wipes. I've actually been on a cleansing oil kick, but I don't have any mini, cle mini cleansing oils. I have minis of like pretty much everything else I realized. So I'm just gonna bring these to London. Oh, and then I also got a mini hairspray. Comb through, which we love. And some pimple patches, just in case of emergency, you know? A little later now, Freddie was helping me with shoot some things. He's the best. Um, just put my sunglasses on a brain to London in my little sunglasses holder I got on Amazon, starting to pack. I have a lot of accessories I'm bringing and I'm starting to wonder, I couldn't help but wonder if I should bring a second carry-on luggage with like all of my bags, shoes, accessories, and maybe like a couple toiletries and stuff like that, like in case my bag got lost, which like I don't even wanna say out loud, but I know a lot of people do that and it's really smart, especially on international travel. So I feel like I might have to bring two luggages because I also do plan to shop. I also just got ready. I love how long your hair lasts with hair extensions, like between washes. I washed my hair on Monday and it's Wednesday. So, I mean, that's not bad, but like I'm not gonna wash my hair probably till Friday. So just in my makeup, I have a really exciting event tonight with Kindle. 
at this place called Bibliotech in Soho. I'm so excited. Like I said, a few of my friends are coming, which is so nice. Um, and it's like gonna be an intimate, chill vibe. Everyone brings their Kindle and we're gonna have different stations at the event, like decorate your Kindle or trivia, stuff like that. And there's gonna be like free wine, beer and coffee, past apps. It's gonna be such a good vibe. I like really can't wait. I think it's gonna be like a nice group of people. Um, it always is, but like, I'm just excited. And Freddie's gonna come with me and he's like, are you, are you like nervous? And I was like, I've been doing stuff back to back today. I feel like I haven't vlogged enough to prep for tomorrow. I had stuff to shoot and stuff to edit that had to be done today that I haven't had time to think about it, but I'm more so just like excited to hang with some girlies for a couple hours. Freddie has really made this area his own and I respect it. It's been decided I am getting rid of this plant. It's just someone commented like it's too green for the space and I agree. It was so great for my last space, but not for this one. Um, so I think I'm gonna do like a, an olive tree of sorts. I also moved the bench there for now. I don't know, I don't hate it over there, but also maybe it'll go somewhere else. It might go like there with the um, artwork I'm going to put there. I'm sick of these boxes here, but they're mirrors and I can't hang them up until the nightstands are here and I just don't wanna mess with them. So I can't wait to see this place when these boxes are in here. I'm thinking since we'll be in Soho and Freddie hasn't really, we went to Tribeca last night, but um, the thing ends at eight tonight. So that'll be fun. Meet Freddie, maybe Ryan will meet up with us, maybe Delaney and my friend Kate who's coming. We'll I don't really know the vibes. We'll go to like dinner in Soho area or Freddie was like, we could grab some pizza because I think he's dying to have some like New York pizza. I also need to grab the outfit that I'm wearing tonight and I'm gonna wear, I wish I wore glasses. It would be so cute with this outfit tonight, like some tortoise glasses, but I don't want to be fake. So um, we've got, I can wear blue light glasses <laughs> anyways. This set from Princess Polly, I love. It fits really nicely. I think it'll photograph cute. And uh, yeah, it's like a little vest halter top moment with the matching jeans. And I love how it fits. I tried it on yesterday from Princess Polly. Need to figure out what shoes I'm going to wear. Maybe I'll wear those heels back there. I don't know, there's like some brown in it. So I feel like black heels might not look good. I don't know, we'll see, but that's what I'm wearing tonight. So here is the set on, I think if it stays clean. Tonight, I'm gonna bring it to London because I feel like it's so perfect for like walking around. Like the back, hello. I don't know, like I had the up one, the top one and a bow, but it kind of like puffed out my hair too much. So I don't know, there's a lot of ties back there, but I think that's cute. And then Jenny Bird earrings, obviously the matching pants, and then some heels from Sam Edelin, I believe, or Jeffrey Campbell, one of the two, but so cute. Obviously got my Kindle that I'm bringing and I'm so excited to meet some of you guys and hang out and catch up. And Freddie's coming. Freddie, look at your outfit. This is yeah. Freddie's new NYC uniform. H&M tees, Siegelman stable hat, some loose jeans, his new sneakers he got the other day. Yep. Everything you're wearing you got here except for your like watch. What can I say? We adapt. <laughs> we adapt. Packed my bag, got my Kindle. I'm gonna bring her with me, how cute. I'm laughing so hard. So I told Freddie, I said, when we get there, we're gonna get name tags and you put your name and then the book you're reading. And Freddie's like, So I, I look up the top 10 <laughs> books of all time. And of course, number one is Bible for good reason. <laughs> Reading the Bible. And I, if I don't go with the Bible, then I think I'm just gonna go with looking for Rex, question mark. And just kind of see, cause I'm not reading anything. Anymore. He was like, I don't wanna lie. I was like, yeah. Cause what if someone asks you about the book and they've read the book? Yeah. So, so we'll he is gonna, I think you should put looking for Rex. Yep, I'm gonna do that. Cause then it's like a conversation starter. There's some cute girlies coming <laughs> Okay. Ooh. Ooh. The first winner is Emily O. Emily. 
Hey you guys, tonight was so much fun. If any of you came, thank you so much for coming out. It was such a special night and it was just so cute because everyone's like, we need to do more things like this where it was just like a smaller group of people. There's probably like 80 of us in there and like most people came alone. It was the cutest thing. Everyone left with a new friend or like five and I am really grateful that I got to host something like that and it was really special and now I'm home. Freddie leaves tomorrow. I leave for London tomorrow and of course I will be starting a London vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this moving vlog number two. There'll be a quick pause um, for London content and then we'll get back to the moving stuff. So I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.